Welcome back to the Young Shakespeare Podcast. I'm your host, Dan Bennett, and today we have a special podcast event. We have got a stream going for the Dover Sherburn Round of 16 Boys Varsity team. They're playing, they're the number eight, and they're playing the number nine, Abington, at home in the DS gym. I've got joining me Alex Waugh and Kirby Ryan, two decorated DS basketball players, state champions. Guys, thanks so much for joining me tonight. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, predictions for the game? How do you how do you guys see this playing out for the Raiders? I think I think DS will definitely win. I don't see it. I don't see it being close. <laughs> Love the mentality. Um, can't say I have much of a scouting report, but um, you know, I got. You not up to date on Abington basketball, Alex? Uh, you haven't been keeping no, up with that in enough. Paris. No, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I got faith in uh, faith in the boys. You know, Chi Valley League. You know, it's tough. Prepares you well for whatever you face in the playoffs. So. I think they'll come in ready, and I think they'll, they'll probably pull it out. Yeah, I got a lot of heat last time because I picked Medfield to win. Um, but I have to be honest, I have to be unbiased as a local podcaster. It's just the rules of the road. So today, my prediction is DS by like 10. I think DS wipes the floor with these guys. I think my boys, they're not even going to keep it close. I think it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, a slaughter. It's going to be a slaughter by DS. I hope so. Yeah. I got a little quote from Ethan Lynch. I said, hey, can I get a quote about the game? And he told me, uh, let me get it right. I don't want to misquote him. You guys know he's he's a flavorful guy. He's got a lot of uh-huh. personality. Um, what did he say? He said, for the eight Abington seniors, the DS gym is a nice place to play their last game. <laughs> It's a big quote. You got you to gotta back that one up for sure. <laughs> Beautiful. And then I asked him, too, I said, how many dunks does he think Luke and Gavin will combine for? And he said, probably three to four, but they'll mostly be from Gavin. <laughs> I didn't know he could dunk. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, no way. <laughs> uh, I love what, year, what year is Gavin? He's sophomore, a sophomore, right? Or is he? I think he's a sophomore, yeah. Yeah. No, they got a lot of sophomores this year. Yeah. I think yeah. he's mostly on the bench. I don't think that was a yeah. serious comment about him dunking three or four times. Yeah. But, he's got, but he's got blue blood. He's got the blood of a Raider. Of course, he yeah. No, I'm pretty sure I remember uh, Ethan trying that for varsity freshman year. That was, that was interesting. Because I just remember, like, there's some, like, drill where you're doing, like, one-on-one drills for whatever reason. And he, like, or maybe it was like, a scrimmage, but he, like, thanks me for, like, not blocking his shot. And it was, like, I, it was just wild. I'd never, like, been thanked before for just, like, playing basketball, like, mid middle of the fucking thing. It was <laughs> strange. But he's a good kid. I told that story about him trying out for varsity as a freshman for the state championship team on the podcast and was laughing about it. And then he came on and said that I had misconstrued the story. I guess he said there was two options. You could try out for like freshman or like the JV varsity. So he chose like the upper section and then yeah. he went, they Grady put him on freshman. Um, yeah, no, Alex, you could have given yeah. him, you could have, maybe you could have helped him. Maybe you could have let him block your shot. That would have been nice. Yeah. Well, it's because like, you're just a, such a rim protector. Like, you just oh, yeah, no, that's, get blocked that's, by that's me, dude. That's all I was there for. I was just <laughs> swatting it left and right. So, <sighs> it looks like there are some little kids playing on the court right now. That I don't see any of the game happening. Mm-hmm. I, it was supposed to start at 6.30. I just saw the guys warming up. Um, I think yeah, maybe no, because, that's like I think because the girls' game went a little bit long, maybe. The guy's game is a little bit behind. Push back, yeah. I don't have anything better to do. I don't yeah. <laughs> I, I, I live and breathe TVL small basketball. That's, that's, that's me. Okay. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> Curb, I got I to gotta talk to your friend, uh, Matson. Your boy. Oh, yeah. I know. He like- he's, not, he's not here right now. But I, I'll, if he comes home, I'll bring him in. I saw him lurking on my uh, story once or twice, and I've, of course, been stalking him because, like, he does all the cool, like, 
legit Clemson, like sports reporting, like writing in the, like he does all, and he's like interviews, like even some former pro athletes in the NFL and NBA, like what's he doing? He's got crazy stuff going for him. Yeah. He's like, um, like this past season, like Clemson played Georgia opening week for football, which like, I mean, like Clemson didn't end up having like that great of a season. And like, obviously Georgia was really good, but like at the time that was like a top five matchup, like week one, that was like the biggest game of the year. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he was, if you look at like the newspaper, it was his article that was like the front page, like for his prediction on the game and stuff. I, he actually predicted Georgia to win that, which like at the time was like pretty crazy just because like Clemson was, you know, one of the best teams like supposed to be coming in and he goes to Clemson, but he's like, yeah, like he, he does a lot of stuff. He's, I, he's, I think he's interning with the baseball team now um which is pretty cool he's doing a bunch of stuff like that he's still doing his podcast like here and there he gets he gets some good players on there I know he just had like a four-star commit for both he's four-star in baseball and football he committed to South Carolina and he had him on it he's had like a bunch of guys on the Clemson basketball team I mean they're not they're not that great but like still um like the team is yeah. that good. Well, they just beat NC State in the ACC tournament and knocked. Oh, them they out. won that. Yeah, I just looked seventy to sixty-four. Oh, really? Brutal. NC State basketball. And by the way, that's super cool about your boy. I mean, that's just like very impressive, like his his story and everything like that. But yeah, about NC State basketball has just disappointed me over and over again. Like I don't sports there? bet, but when people ask me what my thoughts are on the spread for NC State basketball even though I don't sports bet, I always tell them like, don't, don't bet on NC state because they just disappoint you. NC state football has been surprising in the other direction. They've been very good the last year and hopefully we have a lot of returners. So hopefully we can beat Clemson again, but like, yeah, NC I'm state. Sorry, that, uh, like a lineman is like talking about going number one. right now. That's yeah. Just, yeah. Icky. He's going to yeah. be a top five pick probably. One, one of my friends on the rugby team, um, yeah, I saw someone projected him to go first for the Jags. So I don't know. That would be very cool. But, it, you know, just seeing him play all year and then um, seeing him around campus once or twice. But one of my friends on the rugby team was a walk-on on the football team. And after two years, he got cut. And he said that Icky was like a really, really funny guy. And that like one time he got in the elevator and like the light started going off. It was like in the athletic facility. It was like too much weight, too much weight. And then... <laughs> Everyone's like, get off, you fat fuck. And then he got off and it like immediately the light turned off and the elevator doors closed and everyone <laughs> died laughing. But I mean, that's what it takes to be like the best offensive left tackle in the country, you know? Yeah. Um, Some big guys, yeah. Well, back, back to the spread for basketball. Clemson was minus five today. So if they won by six, then they covered. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Yeah, uh, Galatano and I were actually talking to him. Uh, lot about it the game um mm -hmm. and the spread just as like a sports mind i always wonder about the spread even though i don't bet on it ever um yeah yeah me too <laughs> big sports guy big rose bowl guy kirby <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> yeah we got to get together for the rose bowl it's been yeah we will we will we will i'll be over don't worry <laughs> Especially now that Carolyn got you that $5 back, you know? Yeah, that was big. I needed that. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can uh, at least get the screen share up for you guys. Mm. Yeah, it just looks like they're back out doing the warm-ups. Why are we it's warming up on the other side of the court? No, we always go on that side. Oh, for the original warm-ups and then at halftime it switches? Is that right? Yeah. Look at the radar, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? No, that's theirs. That's theirs. No, that's us. Wait, we have a mask on now? Wait, I think that's us. <laughs> what is that? Uh, what? That's, like, I'm I, I, sure. that's gotta be them, dude. No, no, no. Inside sources told me that's Leo Olmstead. No way. Really? It's so goofy. That's hilarious. We have Whatever a mask on now. Yes, if we had a mask on. I think he... Yeah, isn't, isn't Abington green? And that looks blue. Yeah, yeah that no, was a DS it's... Raider. <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> why didn't we have that what 
Bro, we had cheerleaders for like two weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was my freshman year. I remember that. That was hilarious. That was hype. Yeah, I fell off fast, though. Yeah, yeah, we need consistency in the cheerleading, I think. Yeah. Honestly, though, like most schools have it. Like some schools like actually compete for it, too. Yeah. That's like Norton. Every time I went there, they just had like, like an actual like, thing, like routines and stuff. Yeah. Same thing like Hockington. Uh, yeah. I don't know who else, but like a lot of the CDL teams, definitely. So I swear, like every person that's on a cheer team is somehow a state or national champion. <laughs> like, I swear every single person that cheers <laughs> that they won the championship. There must be like a hundred championships. I, I don't know how that's even possible. We won the natties. <laughs> Yeah, I swear everyone cheers. It's like a national champion. Speaking of state champions, do you guys remember your round of 16 game back when you guys won, when you ran the gambit and won the state title? Who was uh, that? If that was our second game, it would have been. Um, oh, it was, was Wittensville, right? Yeah, Wittensburg Christian. Yeah, or but Wittensville. Did... Wittensville. That was oh, but crazy. It was, was probably the game up. after that, though, right? Because didn't DS have a bye this year or something? Yeah, so there was a bye. I was going to yeah. say that. What was the game was after that? Wittensville? Was that Sutton? Uh, I think it was Sutton. Sutton or, like, I think it was, like, Sutton or Hudson. No, it was uh, – we definitely played Sutton before Hudson. Yeah. Um, I, For some reason, I was, like – I just remember that was, like, our closest game, but, like, it was just, like, never really in doubt. Oh, like, it was, like, that, yeah. We like yeah. we got there like 15 minutes before the game started. No, literally, yeah, because like yeah, Rick was baffled about that. <laughs> and we didn't yeah. have basketballs. Like it was some like yeah. we like got no, there like, like take one of theirs. Like we literally just took <laughs> one of their basketballs. Yeah. By the time we got dressed, there was like five minutes of warm ups. Yeah. Like, no, I was like actually so sick going into that game too. I was like mm-hmm. dying. these abington fans coming in late no respect no, no respect yeah. to start time so that side yeah. of the court's a little sketchy to get by on too it's like not a lot of room is is ds um are they in the south division no so they took away regions it's just the oh. it's just one total division three so some teams have had to make wicked long drives like out yeah there like places like like two hour drives and stuff like that luckily i mean not luckily because ds earned it by playing well but they haven't had to make any drives how do they like are they yeah good i was gonna say like how do they rank them because if there's like a 16 and 4 team from like western mass like that's obviously not going to be as good as like a 16 and 4 like tv refs yeah the the raiders give it some handshakes yeah well the so it's actually it's so it's still somewhat controversial, Kirby. But they this new system that they uh, implemented this year. It basically has this like system about ranks like teams playing each other, and it um it puts a huge emphasis on your opponent value. So it, it puts together like your win, your losses, and then your opponent value, and then your total value, and then you're ranked on your total value. And it comes off that if you're a Bay State Conference team, like where there's tons of good teams like Brookline um and newton north and your needham let's say you can have like four or five losses and and you'll still be ranked higher than like um or you'll be ranked about perfect example is like beverly has like two losses and they're ranked like one spot ahead of needham in the d1 tournament who has like five losses just because the bay state conference is so much harder than the competition uh beverly was playing so they i think they do a pretty good job though yeah okay that makes sense i know they like i i know football Football had divisions like or regions, but they did kind of what you're saying. Like they they value it was like a weird point system where like if you lost to like a good opponent by like a small amount of points, then you know like you you get some points still. And, you know what is the what is the key in a playoff game? Do you guys think in front of like a it's a roaring crowd from what I hear? You know, this this DS home gym, what do you think the key is for these guys to, like, win the game? And, like, and like is it is – it, do you try to feed off the energy of the crowd in a situation like this, or do you try to avoid that and just stick to the kind of the fundamentals? 
I mean, you can't really help it, but you're going to get a little bit more energy when there's a tennis playoff game environment. I mean, for the most part, you just kind of have to try to use that cheer advantage and not let yourself get kind of carried away, get sped up too much when you're for the first couple of minutes. Um, easier said than done. But for sure, I mean, I think anytime that there's a packed house and as a player that you know, um, you hear it, and it's like always better, I think, at least to play in those types of games. Yeah, I think I think you got to feed off of it, like definitely. You know, you get a little run going, maybe maybe try to push the – like when the crowd's loud, you get a good stop or like try to push it, get a quick bucket. But like kind of like what Alex was saying, like, you know, don't do it too much. You know, don't like force shots. But it like try to – I would say like, you know, if they get a couple buckets, then a big stop and the crowd's loud, try to push it, like, try to get something fast break, but like, don't force it. That's what was crazy about when you guys played like in the state title game. It felt like, especially in the end, when you guys ran, just it just felt like you just kept going, like Kirby hitting those threes. Like the energy was so crazy, and it just felt like the whole team thrived off of it. Like you guys weren't crumbling; it it was just making you play better and better. Yeah, and no, I remember start of state championship game, like the first like four minutes, it felt like we were just sprinting the entire time. So it was just so loud, like you, you couldn't hear anything. Um, but yeah, no, it felt like, I think kind of like going back and like having watched it now a couple of times, I think we were kind of, I don't think we were overwhelmed by it, but like you can see that it was like having an impact, just like the occasion of like it yeah. being a championship game, kind of, I think it did affect the way that we kind of started the game was once you get into it, I think it's a little easier, but you know, there's always a little bit of an effect, I think. I, I yeah. will say some of Waz's best performances never before seen have happened on the Medfield police station court. If people saw the things he was doing to me, he would be in jail because what well, I mean, dropping 20 points in a row on me. I mean, that well, you're tough when no one's around, too. That's the thing. <laughs> hey, listen, I mean, it's, it's what I got to do sometimes. Medfield courts got to make it a second home. Yeah. Real G's move in silence, you know? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, there's some some bodies laying down at the Medfield courts, Spencer. Spencer took a rough little tumble there. Yeah, um, Spencer, where it's just a yeah. horrendous look for his ankle. Mm, yeah, no, he was, he was trying to drive home afterwards and paramedics was just saying like, dude, like ankle's probably broken. Can't really drive right now. Yeah, it's like, dude, do not drive. Like your ankle is broken. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't broken, but it did look, no. it did look very bad. It did look. Yeah, bad. no. Yeah, no, that was, that was unfortunate. Oh. No, that's different type. I would say like outdoor shooting is like, so tough i feel like just indoor shooting it's something about it's so nice like once you've like gone outside and shot like an out outdoor court it's just something very different about it just like watching this remind me of it i'm i'm starting to think guys call me crazy but i'm starting to think that i was misled about the start time of this game i think it starts at seven <laughs> Okay, that would probably make sense. Sorry for getting you on a half hour early, but it looks no, like no, uh, don't worry. What does it say? Yeah, DS fan zone said boys at 6 30. But I'm wondering if they in a similar vein said that to get people out like before the game so that it would be popping at tip tip off. That's probably what they did, yeah. Yeah. I tricked by a bunch of teenagers. It's gonna happen. Um you know, you guys see that they had, like, free barbecue before the girls' game in the student lot or something? Really? That's cool. Yeah. Where what was, time where was, was that? the girls' game starting? Where, where was that when I was hungry in my early days <laughs> in South Sherborne? Where was the yeah. free barbecue then? No. Nah. <laughs> trying to keep Curb. it away from you. Curb, EG, what does that stand for? I mean, that's like, you know. I know. I know. Like, what? I wish we had some free barbecue. This is the first time the like girls have won playoff game probably in like a long really time. time, right? Yeah, no, I can't remember the last time. I mean, they made playoffs our senior year, but 
I don't uh, think they, they won. They did. Yeah, I remember that actually. You yeah, wonder if did. that was like tough at all for them. Like, I'm sure they were excited for you guys, but if they were just like kind of sitting there, just like, oh, there's Johnny. That's cool. But if they were all <laughs> like pissed, kind of like, oh, I wish this was us. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Can't relate. I, I mean, was a state champion in the four by eight, so which was like equally as important to the town. No, if not more. <laughs> Some will say, what's <laughs> what's the history is written? What's the history is written? I would be nervous working the clock tonight. I feel like I would screw it <laughs> up somehow. Yeah, no. It's I don't even really like it. I was just excited when I was like watch the game when I heard two o'clock. So like I feel like I'd fuck up every once in a while. I just think no one noticed that one, but I like, oh yeah. I, I worked the, the clock at like a I think I worked the clock at a freshman team game one time or something. And I messed up so much. <laughs> Cause I forgot about the the shot clock with that button. <laughs> you just like weren't running shot clock. I was doing shot clock and the normal clock, and I kept forgetting to like press the reset button on the shot clock. Like it's pretty tough to do that when you're no, there's a lot to it. Like you don't really realize like yeah, it's texting more it. than you think. Oh, in the yeah. uh, in in the girls game, there was uh, a, you know, they didn't the girls on um whoever they were playing Shashin, Shashin didn't um clear the ball past half court in ten seconds, and you could see Brian Scalabrini stand up and put his hands out like this, and he was like, "That's ten seconds," and they actually blew the whistle and gave him the violation. And I think that, I swear to God they wouldn't have noticed if if Brian Scalabrini hadn't stood up and and yelled out. Yeah. You know how you know how um for like Monday night football, Eli Manning and Peyton Manning have like a channel where they, they talk during the game. Mm. This is kind of like that. You know? Yeah. Not exactly. That's, that's what Tylen <laughs> said, our very first football stream. Really? And I said, yeah. And then I said, Yeah, me and you are kind of like the Peyton and Eli of DS. And then he said, Nah, that sounds washed up. <laughs> but yeah i think this is a I, oh look at that yeah, it's, it's a little, it's a little aggressive you gotta oh, oh my god dude oh boy it was <laughs> kingdom i like i bet every time's like that now though like come on nah i don't know dude i don't know if that would have flagged our senior year nobody no i don't think it i don't think it would but like now yo what is it what Wait, wait. What? Oh. <laughs> wait What's what? he doing? Is he ours or not? Is that I, our Raider? I, I, I don't know. I think it's, excited yeah. for the moment. I think it's that was weird. Ones. Why did he go over there? I don't know. They're telling him to get away. Yeah, no, to be scared. Yeah, these are much more understated. The DS ones are more understated. Right. More class. No, nah, you just gotta be good. You just gotta have a little, little chill about it. Like, you don't need to. Game times where you show off, not not free. Oh, I would do it if I had one of these. I would hit a little split. I would like spin the ball on my finger. I'd just be doing every trick I have up my sleeve. No, I remember we did that for senior night. We did like different ones, and I like fucked up Cam so bad. Like after we uh like practiced for like ten minutes in the locker room too. <laughs> You're practicing in the locker room. Yeah, because like oh, we're doing like yeah, completely bro. different ones. Yeah. No, and we nailed it in the locker room, too. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, all right, we got it. <laughs> I, just, I fucked it up. But I, I don't think anyone really noticed. It like, wasn't me or Cam. Here, here's an honest question for you guys. When you're playing, did you hear how, – how much did you hear, like, what people were screaming out from the fan zone and how much of it was just, like, random noise? Like, it was kind of irrelevant. You weren't really listening to it while you're playing. I, I don't know if I'd really say that I hear like what people are saying. I'd honestly more times I'd like hear a voice and be like, oh, like, I know what that is. Like either if it's like a parent or a kid or like Miss even Clancy. a coach sometimes. Miss yeah. Clancy. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you all time raider. All time oh, raider.
they got a lot of uh, media out too now because as as more teams lose in their respective playoffs, there's only so many games for the local media outlets to cover. So like I know Metro West Sports is there. I saw a lot of people with cameras. I think that kid um Max Videos is there. He he always puts out a dope highlight of uh, the DS games. Probably Flano's there too. I'm gonna guess. Is um. Are there any other TBL teams still alive? Norwood. Norton, right? It's Norton. Yeah, Norton uh, as well. Norton was like is like the uh, four seed, so I just assume they're still in. And Norwood's yeah. in the D two bracket, or maybe it's D one, yeah. but they're pretty. No, they're, they're, they're very good. They have a kid Noah Bodet, who's, you know, got his his back must be hurting from carrying that team. I mean, <laughs> did they play DS? Yeah, yeah no, we kind of, smacked them. Kind of messed them up, yeah. No, I was like going through the like highlights earlier on, which is like games. It was like win, 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 win. And then like that game was like, oh, but it happens. I think literally every <laughs> year, um, there's at least like one game just kind of like out of nowhere where it just didn't go well. Okay, it's so awesome. Oh, is that Brian Olsen? Yeah. So I actually saw Brian Olsen sneak a dunk in and warm-ups. I think the respectful thing to do would be to penalize him with a technical foul. Um, <laughs> just for the respect of the game. I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to see a technical foul to start this thing for Brian's outrageous warm-up dunk. Nice cut. It's nice. There he goes. Weight room. Is that the horn set. No. Nah. Lynch is good on that, going on those screens there. That's a, that's aggressive shooting. Here goes Spellman. Yeah, you can tell that there's a lot of energy on the court. Looks like maybe yeah, this yeah. is trying to slow it down. Yeah, 33 looks like he's one of their main, like, Handler scores. What's he? Doing? Yikes. He looks like a he's like a little scary type. That was a yeah. scary type pass. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's your co captain. Come on now. <laughs> that was a violation. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> pull up. Uh, no, no, yeah, he can't guard him. He can't guard him. Ooh, Rinaldi loves the pull up. Dude, if they have him on a whole game, that's that's a mismatch. Look at this, this kid's shoes. Over. No offense to this kid's shoes, like, but they look lame. <laughs> Good day. Nice. Oh boy. Nice. nice. Awesome. Oh. Weight room. Oh. Woo! Woo. Look at that. Pull back. Oh, all right. Nice. Yup. Pass. Oh. Get there. Oh. Sullivan kind of reminds me of you, Kirby. You're a better shooter for sure, but just like in terms of the way you guys play. Who? Sullivan. Oh, Dan. Danny Dimes. Dan's a good athlete. He's going to be good oh, yeah. for the football team next year. Yeah. He's like, he's, a, I think he's, he's like a Danny Bennett type athlete, IML. Yeah. I think he's like really good at baseball. That's really kind of you to say. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a comparison like that. Yeah. Yeah. Side what I did Just what I did for Dover, Sherburn, cross country was kind of instrumental. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Whenever we'd see cross country, literally it's just their practice is just running up and down like that's in the parking lot. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was depressing just to look at. It was good running by the football practice field and being like, you know, kids would be getting water and I'd be like, do a real yeah. sport that's hard like cross country. Oh, oh. ew. <laughs> oh, that's it was, tough. It was over. Okay. Yeah. Damn it. Is it like, like lagging for you guys? Yeah, a little. But like it's not, still pretty smooth. It's not lagging for me, but that's probably because it's my computer. So hopefully it 
catches up for you guys. And mm. it's tough. Oh shit. It's mm. really that damn. I don't even know what's going on there. But yeah, Ooh, it it might, might take a minute, Curb. It hopefully it will not be a problem. Just got to slip down there, a couple turnovers back to back. It's funny because Alex is in freaking Europe, so you think it would be lagging for him more. I guess just the internet, wherever it is. I don't know. Where Where are you, Wah? Uh, Paris. Oh, that's awesome. He's in, he's in Kiev fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah front lines. <laughs> What time is it in, over there, Wa? Uh, we're like six hours in, so it's one. Ooh. Ooh. It's Zach, aggressive. Zach is keeping the ankle doctor in business after that one. Who shot that? Wait, how'd they get the ball? I want Good hands. Ah. Oh, these kids can play. The way Zach can just like start and stop is oh, very impressive. Calm down a little bit there. Some turnovers. Oh, oh, nice. I'm a green shirt. And yeah, are you pulling it up in a separate tab curve? I think I'm going to try that. Yeah, that, that might work better. Wait, did he just shoot? Yeah. Yeah. Now so. Abington is crossing half court right there. Yeah. All, All right. right. Caught up. I'm still on the Zoom though, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. From, from our perspective, it looks the same. So, yeah, okay. I don't want you to miss any of the game too. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, wow. I thought they were going to call that. Right there? I'd yeah, send the kid to the yeah. hospital. Just a message. Really foul them hard. But hey, that's just that's just street ball where I'm from, I guess. Mm. Medfield police okay. station courts, it gets rough. <laughs> yeah. What time I fouled Timmy so hard, enough. I thought he was gonna elbow me in the face. I, I think I might remember that. <laughs> I do. It's like, it like I couldn't stop fouling him. And it was <sighs> one of those ones you just like. You get the arm so hard that it, it just – it's abysmal. Yeah. Every, everyone in oh. town can hear the slap. Man, they got to get Luke the ball there. Olsen is amazing on the offensive rebounds. Yeah. Ooh. Shot. Ronaldo. I think it was Lynch. I think that was Lynch, yeah. Was it? I don't know. Animal. I thought it was, but maybe. Yeah, I think it oh, was. Oh, what a beast. I want to sleep on Lynch. I wish they had like the little scoreboard in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, they usually have that. And Ooh, it's a pain. Wow. Man, they're just aggressive. They gotta, they gotta like calm down after they get rebounds. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Tough shot. Jeez. There's one little kid on the Abington side of the stands that just stood up and like put his hands up like this. I wonder if it's just overflow from the DS side or if that's just a little kid that was just excited to see a three, even though he's there like on Abington. Yeah. Three looks like a shooter. Yeah. Oh, and overflow. It's pretty packed. That yeah. They're like really they're saying they're shooting on that. Yeah. They're that's saying if a if DS had more capacity that they could have, uh, they would have like 10,000 in turnout tonight, apparently. What? Yeah. <laughs> that seems like a lot. I don't know. They should have played a Madison Square Garden. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. No, because I think Norton was playing there tonight, so they couldn't. That's a smooth jumper. Yeah. That was smooth. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he's not staying in front of them. Uh, up with it. That one up is oh, a pass. There you go. 
it's tough because like that's a good shot selection like it's open but it's hard being pressed full court and then yeah you're just all the way to shoot you know yeah Hmm. what what, and why would you attribute that is it that his legs from sprinting up the quarters the chaos of breaking the press why is that hard to make after beating the press well you're just dribbling so much and you're just like looking down and just physically draining like you got somebody like leaning on you you have to like kind of push through to get by yeah all around just tired you know what they do that's smart now is that the DS fan zone, they have like the seniors go on the front two rows so that they're oh, right okay. there on the court and you, their presence is more felt. It makes sense. Like, why would you want the loudest people like way up in the corner tucked away? Oh, let's go. Let's go. They're, they're letting them play. Like, they're not calling out. I kind of like that. Yeah. No, I think that helps us too. We seem like we're the bigger team. Mm-hmm. Thirty-five seems rather large, though. Thirty, yeah, thirty. I was gonna say thirty-five has my build. I don't know what he's doing playing varsity basketball. Is that John O'Wendell? Yeah. Oh my god! I feel like he's still in middle school. There's certain certain kids you just know growing up that you're like, there's no. Someone's gotta get back. Yeah. Yeah. John O is definitely one of them because he was always just Manny Griffin. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't make the same mistakes as Griffin. <laughs> <coughs> wow, do you remember? I feel like I remember coaching a couple of these kids that there's like Sarah. Oh, yeah, Tom. Yeah. Like, or like Greedy Camp over summer. Yeah. How much time? 18. Oh, good block. Got to get the board. There you go. Love that from Olsen. Last I show. feel like oh, it's Lynch. Oh, wait, is it? No, no Olsen that's is Olsen. Yeah. I feel like uh, Spellman isn't hitting as many shots as he normally does, but he's doing a very no, good but... job making the press. Oh, there's motion. Yeah. yeah, I mean he's he's kind of earned the right to be shooting the way he is right now, though. Just kind of what he's done. Oh yeah, no, Where but I've is... I've full faith. I mean, every game I've seen, he always gets hot at one point or another. So. I think yeah. we're going to see more out of him. Uh, I just hope he doesn't get frustrated. Like, back on yeah. that last one, I think he definitely got – there was definitely a reach-in foul from Abington that they didn't call. Um, so, I hope he doesn't get frustrated. A lot of points this first quarter. I think they just have to slow it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Should have took the over. Oof. That's the quarter. 18. That kid's good, yeah. though. Yeah, you need to be up on him. You can shoot. This is a really good shooting team, like this DS team. Which, yeah. you know, you guys playing on the, um, you know, the DS state championship team. Uh, and this is a question I posed to Mock and Brett, but I think it'd be interesting to hear your perspectives which one of these guys do you think could either like start for that team or would have been able to be like a rotational guy on that state championship team, just based on what you've seen from them? I mean, Ronaldo's going to start on pretty much any team in the last like 10 years, if not like any team in DS history, like athleticism, size, length, um, basketball IQ, just really complete player. Um, you know, it's tough to say. Uh, Olsen, Similar with athleticism, size, shooting too. Uh, really good player. Spellman, obviously, great scorer. Um, I mean, kind of comparing him to like Skiri as like a sophomore would be interesting. But um, also like the role that he would have played on our team, I think would have been definitely different than the role that he kind of has on this team. As like a scorer compared to like Skiri, who's a lot more of a distributor and then kind of spot up shooter. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I think they all definitely would have had roles. Like they're all really good players. Yeah, I think a lot of these guys could definitely be in the rotation. I think this is a really good team, but I haven't watched a ton of them, so. I don't Ooh. Know. Nice. Ooh. Throw it oh. up. Oh. Oh. 
That's the shit. You should have thrown an alley oop over his head to Ronaldo. Yeah, <laughs> that would have got him excited. That that would have got the going crazy. Hey, what's up with some yeah. of the bald guys? Some of the bald dads in the DS stands. Don't you think they can afford to get hair? You know what I mean. <laughs> Probably. Nice. Ah. Oh. Damn. Oh. Yeah. Need this boards. Oh. Coach is coach is not nothing. happy. Coach is not happy right yeah. there with that call. He thinks it was a travel. No, nah, I think Olsen got axed, but didn't call it. Do you see what I'm saying about the media in the corner? Oh, that's yeah. Rhino, Tommy Castle. I think that's Tommy Castle. This gets pretty big, too. Oh, they're not. I didn't. Oh, that's kind of random. I just noticed, like, they're not wearing masks anymore. Yeah, no. They, they just got, like, the all clear. Like, it was actually useful. They all just warm around their chin. Like, what was the point of even, like, making them do that? No, nah, dude. Stop code. Come on. <laughs> they just got rid of the masks at, like, NC State. Whew, nice. Nice, Rinaldi. And um, mm-hmm. it's a weird feeling being in, like, the library and especially the gym without masks. I was talking to this girl from class, and she was like, oh, yeah. She's like, Carmichael, you're gonna, there's going to be, like, a lot of that mask fishing i was like oh yeah you're gonna see a lot of people she's like no no she was like i mean myself like she's like i look a lot better with a mask on <laughs> i was like i can't believe you just said that like very yeah. very funny i've heard it called a butter mask but <laughs> sorry i was telling my story what did what did i miss just a mission uh it kind of blocked but not sure Oh man, he's getting what I was like every time. Is it? Oh god, that was an ugly shot. Yo. That kid, it, it looks like he's working hard though. Yeah, he's got size, he's got speed, but I don't think he can shoot, and that's probably why he came off the bench. I'm assuming. They just gotta have him go get rebounds and pass it out. Yeah, I mean, if he can do that though, that's big. Yeah. That dude cannot guard Luke. No chance, bro. Nice. Nice. Spellman for three. Spellman needed that. Yeah. I mean, he gets enough of those looks. He needed a little one. confidence because he was missing yeah. somewhere earlier. He's a good shooter. Oh, he yeah. Needs, he just needs to see one go in. Oh. He's got so much range, too. He can shoot from so deep. And he can yeah. get buckets yeah. when you beat him in, like, tight games. Honestly, he's been, like, so impressive just the way he's, like, improved from, you know, like he was one of the guys who I remember, I think sophomore year or something, maybe got like a call up or something. Um, Kirby, do you kind of remember that more? I think he was he was in sophomore year, senior year. Um, who? Spellman. Spellman. Well, we didn't make tournament my senior year, but he he would like practice with us sometimes. Yeah, how was he? He played really other... free. Like he, like he. I don't know who to compare him to, but he plays really free. Like, yeah, no, you can see shoot. it. Like, everything he does looks comfortable. Mm, yeah. Like, when he shoots, he looks Damn. confident that he's going, like, oh, you know, like, that just, like, looks yeah. like he knew he was going to shoot and he was confident in it. it wasn't Is that like him again with another three? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. By the way, number 10 for Abington is, I think, over four on free throws. Yeah. Horrendous. Damn. Whew. That's pure, dude. He's so good. Yeah, that's such a smooth jumper. Yeah. There's a few guys in this DS team that I don't think have come out yet. Rinaldi, Spellman, and Lynch. I think all three of them have been in the whole time. Nice board. Oh, almost. Ooh. That a boy. Great Slow it down ball. now. Slow it down now. Going to the zone. Are they? Oh my goodness. That way, Lynch. Lynch will take that. He'll take the punishment. Same shooting on the floor. On the floor. It looks like he was going up. 
Yeah, kind of something. He might just kind of try to sell it to get shots. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Boys, I would. Set of three. Should Good that shot. Was it, that was definitely zone, right? I did. It was off on our screen. Uh, yeah, I, made it. I, I, I had us back on. I took off the screen share by accident curb. What, what yeah. happened there? Um, Daniel Sullivan inbounded it and then ran to the corner and they passed it back to him and he hit a three. Oh, nice. Sick. It was a late closeout, it looked like. That's a good New play, actually. Damn, that's game. a really good play. You can tell number three is the Abington guy that they feed the three-pointers to. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I think he's had moderate success so far shooting the three. Mm. <laughs> Lynch is doing dance moves, showing the ref. Yeah. I think he's arguing that he, like, kind of, like, jumped into the yeah. Foul. yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, yeah in the NBA, they, they changed that rule this year about jumping into the foul and stuff. Ball don't lie. <laughs> Ball don't lie. Flano posted up. Is it an Abington timeout right there or what? Yes, probably. I mean, they're playing well, but it's ah, just the defense right now. It's like the yeah. three just make the lead feel so much bigger than it is. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like, I don't feel like the looks that we've gotten have been phenomenal, but like they're hitting shots right now, so. Yeah. Like the first quarter, I feel like, was the same exact story as this quarter. It's just like we're hitting the threes now. And like yeah, it was tied yeah. after the first quarter, and now get a little separation. Yeah, no. Only problem is just like a team like this. It seems has like decent shooting. Just it's tough to like feel like nine points. I think it was nine points. It's like safe. Yeah. So that's actually uh, Nick Rinaldi working the clock. Yeah. Future Vandy boy. Love to see it. Yeah, Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt's best. Yeah. Honestly, I never really get with team stress. I feel like, like against, it just doesn't really work that well. Like, I feel like we got more layups out of, like, we got turnovers off. Of. Oof. Oof. Damn. Spellman, he's hot. What did I yeah. say? He's hot. No. That's why I keep shooting. Yeah. yeah. He never lost confidence. That's what I'm saying. He plays so free, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. It's fun to watch. Man, that kid's good. That kid's good. Yeah, that kid's physical. Yeah. Athletic, tall, long. Still got a 10 point lead, I think. Yeah, no, you can't can't guard him. Oh, four. What are you bitching about? Four he's so lanky. Just like, like he's he's putting all him. his weight on Luke. Literally, right? like he's like behind him, but at the same time, like shooting a layup. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, he wasn't even facing the and he's Yeah. No. Nah. Speaking of athletes, like... I mean Luke just kind of pulled that off right there. Like oh yeah, for sure. Luke, well, like, pulling his shorts up a little bit too high, I think. <laughs> it's got to show off the legs. Come on. <laughs> Luke is a, uh, he's really quick, like that first step. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, that first step jab and then go left and then into a pull up. You know, like every, like, he has like quick little movements, get him just enough separation to shoot over. Yeah. Some. He has a nice was similar, move. but he was just like a little more stocky. I feel like he also grew. Like, I remember um, he was, like, listed as, like, 6'3", like, 220 for Vandy football. And I was, like, no chance he's 6'3". Like, no chance. And then, like, came back, like, and saw him. And, like, he Ooh. might have. I don't know. It's a nice lunch. Yeah. He's, he's wow. growing in all directions, dude. What's up, Kerb? 
No, like, well, I, I agree. Like, I didn't think Nick was that tall. And then. Nice shot. Oh, Boy. Lynch. Lynch. I love that. That's aggressive. Animal. That's a great move. He's a fucking animal. Oh, my God. No, that's taking it to the big guy, too. Love to see it. Luke is clapping like he's at a matinee. He's just <laughs> out. That's huge, too, because, like, getting tens and fouls Dude. is good. Their shooting has been incredible so far. Yeah. 38. Yeah, I mean, like, we have 38 with, like, two and a half minutes to go. 38, 23, is that what it says? I think it's 23. I can't yeah, see. Yeah, I wish they would show the clock view. Nice I, clock. Olsen's, Olsen's an athlete. I feel like everyone's playing super well. Wait, what? What happened there? Do you call a timeout? No. Rick. Rick. Damn, bro. Honestly, honestly, that's a pretty good timeout call, though. Like, you're up. I mean, you don't really know what it was. Down. <sighs> yeah. I mean, if we could have seen what was going on, maybe we would have been able to tell better. But, like, it did seem like he had a breakaway. Yeah, I, I doubt they actually had that. Yeah, probably not. So I think we're going to get uh, a special guest uh, from the floor <laughs> at, at halftime. All right. I'm so salty that one time the first Medfield game, Lynch said he would come on at halftime onto the Zoom. <laughs> I think he would have got kicked off the team, but it would have been so funny. There's no chance we could let that happen. <laughs> you just hear Mr. You just hear Coach Grady just reaming the team at halftime in the background, and Ethan is on the Young Shakespeare uh, Zoom call. <laughs> no, I think we just see like a phone like fly into a wall. He was like on Zoom. <laughs> Didn't like Antonio Brown go on his phone one time at? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the way. Oh, Ronaldo. Wait, that's room. Smooth, man. He like fakes like outside left and goes in. Oh, That's a nice move! Boom. Wow, Abington is really struggling to just get the ball in the in the hoop. So it's like West yeah, Coast. all the way. Oh. Oh. That's one thing Olsen's just got to work on a little. Like it's like tough, like in the paint there. Just all the guys are, like always going to reach in, like that handle there. It's tough. These are a big nice. future open for Abington. Like, go. We are just rolling. I swear, he gets like at least like two of those a game. That's a good. That was his second steal. Yeah. He's oh, the game going. over. Just run with it, dude. Foul. I hate that. When people reach, like, let them go by and reach behind. Yeah. I forget somebody did that all the time on our team. Who was that? Um get in. Oh. I don't know. I forget, but someone did do it. I remember it. I don't think Coach Grady liked it either. No, it's like not a good way to defend it. Oh, well. was it was it Ford maybe? Maybe. Oh. Know. Oh wait, no, you weren't on the team with him. That's yeah, no. Cool. If it was, it would have just been like during the like mixed practices. Yeah, Rinaldi looked wicked athletic there. Just couldn't quite pull it in and stay in bounds. But I like I like the hustle. Yeah, no, it's aggressive play. You're in turnovers like that. Ooh. They haven't scored in like. Don't say it. I know, I know. It's going to happen now. Nice. Oh, stay behind. Damn. Kirby. Nah. Oh. It's not like it matters. It's just, it's over. What did you do? Oh, that's tough. They haven't scored in so long. Scores. <laughs> Same last shot. Yeah. That's like when you're, when you're watching ESPN, the nice thing, where they can just put on the screen, like, 18 to 4 yeah. run. Oh my god. How much time? I don't know. All right, there we go. 
<laughs> wow, how many classes are you taking in Paris? Uh, four. Four. Do you normally take four? Uh, yeah, no, I took six last semester. Six last um, semester. But that's also like high. Like normally I do like five. Yeah. A lot of good for staff for the boys, though. Love to see it. I'm glad you went over to the uh, the other stream, Kirby. I think that worked out well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that up. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in a minute. All good. All right. Should be getting our sideline reporter on soon. <laughs> I'd like there's so much stuff that like you know you can only really know once you're like in like practices and like just playing against like guys like every day but I just love to know like what like conversations Rick's had with um Stalin about like shooting just like the amount he shoots and where he shoots from yeah like if it's just total green light or like what he's cool with but he just pulls For love sure. to see it though Nick says downloading. Does that mean he's downloading the Zoom app on his phone? Most likely. I would assume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I'm glad we've got you all. What what kind of coach, like what kind of things will Coach Grady say when it when your team is up in a playoff game at the half? Like what do you what like if you had to guess what kind of things he's saying, what would he be saying? I mean, just based off of like normal games where we were up um just like really like driving on the fact that like it's not over like they can get back in really quickly um when you're winning normally it is like a more positive team talk than like it would be otherwise but you know let's see <laughs> yo <laughs> we got our sideline reporter live on the young shakespeare podcast nick Grinaldi. what's up boys it's crazy here i can hear you <laughs> <laughs> is Kermit here? Kermit yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're kidding. <laughs> What's up? Hey, fellas. How's, how's, the game from, uh, how's the game from your perspective? Oh, it's looking pretty good, actually, so far. Yeah. yeah. Really Coach, Coach Wall, what do you have to say? What could uh, Grady be doing differently? <laughs> no, no. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go on here and catch Jake's Rick on anything so far. He's got the boys <laughs> playing a lot. Nick, what's what's the atmosphere like in the uh, Dover Sherburn gym tonight? Well, I'm outside because it's too loud inside. Honestly, I think my eardrums are gonna fall off. <laughs> but but no, uh, it's definitely one of the most packed games all year. I think it's up there um, to the one that was a few weeks ago, um, where basically the whole town came. So yeah, it's definitely it's definitely loud in there, and it's helping everyone out because. This Abington team, is that Abington? They're yeah. gross. They have some studs, especially that shooter who's basically has all their points right now. He's yeah. probably one, he's probably the best player they've played all year. I'd I say just um, like boxing one on him. Feels like they're just like running around. No kidding. Like, Wait, is that like, which number is that, Nick? Uh three, I think. Yeah. 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 I think it's he's, this is, it's the guy that's been scoring all the points so far. Yeah. And Kofi. Yeah, Coach Grady put Kofi in, and he's been locking him up. Um, but, yeah, other than that, like, Luke started off strong, which is always nice. Um, it sucks when he has to, like, get into a rhythm halfway into the game, but he was able to he was able to start off with making some shots. And Zach, too, just fought through his little um, first four, I think, yeah. missed shots and started start making out. them later. But, yeah, yeah, these boys are coming together right now. Absolutely. Yeah. He should, hey, he... hey, Kirby and Watt. I want to hear your honest opinion. Yeah. Does it even compare to the three years ago? Was it three uh, years ago? I think the, the team, team or what? The like team. The talent? Yeah. Yeah, I think it compares. Yeah. I yeah. definitely do. I mean, I think we'd win, but it compares. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I've been thinking Nick, that for you a were, while. Nick, you, you've had your foot in sort of – probably both sides more than these guys even because you got called up for that tournament 
and then you were yeah. just graduated. Yeah. So what do you think about it? I didn't play there? Jack. I didn't play Jack the whole tournament. Actually, I got a few minutes in, in the uh, quarterfinals. Yeah, but, you know, I was in one game, right? What? You played in that Sutton game a good amount. Yeah, yeah, at WPI. Yeah. I was in that game. Um, but that was crazy. Yeah. I was just a little short sophomore back then. Um, wow, you've legit grown like five inches since then. I know, it's, it's crazy. It's a little. No, I was talking about <laughs> little. We were talking no, about it was really little. Yeah. No, it was really little. And <laughs> Nick, I, we were talking so about you earlier, Get how big you've gotten. No, can yeah. I say something? Can I say something real quick just in case this kid this kid uh just happens to tune in? Johnny Bennett is looking so small tonight. They did him so dirty with the cutoff sleeves two times in a row. Hey. So dirty. Oh no. Dan, you're muted. No, he's on the phone with someone. Yeah, he's on the phone on a podcast. Kind of no, he's got big things for his guy. That's got, like a kind sin. Of, it's kind of risky, kind of risky of Johnny to be wearing sleeveless with those little arms. Like, I don't know. I know. I don't that's know what I was thinking. telling him. You got to kind of use a microscope to see him from all the way over here. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, John, Dan said you guys were talking about me? Oh, yeah, no. I was yeah. saying um, when they listed you for Danny football, like 6'3", 220, I was like, no chance he's 6'3". Wait, say no it again. Chance. So they list you what six three two twenty, and I said there's no chance you were six three. Are you kidding me, Wall? I know, and then I came back and I was like, oh damn, you grew a little bit. Oh, oh, I thought you just said that I wasn't six three. No, no, no. no Whoa, I think you got what it are now. you looking at right now? How tall are you? Uh, I always say six four, but like I'm close to six five. Yeah, yeah, you're a big dude. Wow, you should go for the football squad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> teammates could, could be yeah. curb you too clemson i know i know i was like i was low-key thinking about just like trying out but like walk on qb dude that would be sick i, I was like i was thinking about like you know like why not like what do you have to lose you, you no, know really? you don't, you don't make it you know, back to a normal shit, life and the amount to gain is huge it's nothing yeah. to lose and tons to gain oh, yeah exactly um all right i think i have to go back in about, about you're on the clock dude i'm on the clock <laughs> i'm getting paid i gotta get back in the game starts without all you right. have a good all time right. boys don't hurt me too yeah. Bad. yeah oh no it's locked the doors <laughs> <laughs> the game just can't start without you <laughs> it just can't i'm the mvp <laughs> all right i'll see you boys hopefully right. we'll again. give us a wave on the stream all right Classic. Brought a lot of energy out there. All right, let's see. Two minutes left. Is that what it says? Yeah. Well, we know it can't start without Nick, so like, we'll we'll be fine. Yeah, you never know. Look, there's that football just stuck up there on top of the scoreboard. Mm-hmm. Probably you, Curb, with all those incomplete passes you threw in your senior uh, game against Medfield. Good trip, man. <laughs> <laughs> You ever wake up with you ever wake up in cold sweats thinking about that? Yeah, I wake up all the time in the middle of the night. Every night. Every night. Then he remembers grass and it's all better. (laughs) (sighs) Wait, so it was on clock. Yeah, yeah. He was on clock. I was just like remembering like when we played Norwood. It was like the first year there in the TDL. Like we smoked them. And like no now they're in like division two. So I don't know yeah. what's going on there. My my senior year we played Norwood opening game and we were it was like so we were up by we were up by one with like 10 seconds left. And then we got the rebound and on the oh, rebound, I remember this. Yeah. We turns it over with like five seconds left and they hit a game winning three to win by two. Yeah, that's brutal. By the way, I was like, I feel like I asked this to somebody, but I'll ask it to you again. But did Coach Grady give like a speech before the year, like about like how like you guys like haven't like earned anything for like the new team or something, or like how like expectations? That I don't know, like after, right? yeah, about like expectations. Yeah, just like 
I don't know how to put it, but where it's like for us, like our sophomore year, it was like after a decent year. And she like gave talk about how like um, Spang and like those guys like aren't on the team anymore. So you have to like earn like wins again, I guess. I don't know how to put it. Yeah, he talked a lot. I remember he talked a lot about like experience and how it doesn't really matter if you'd played or not before. Like everyone has to earn their spot, I guess. Like whether you've played or yeah. not, it's gonna be nice the best play. players that are gonna play. Yeah. No, I think he said that every year. Good start to the half there. What just happened with an N one? Yeah. Nice, good hands. Lynch has looked very good today. Yeah, he's having a good game. Man, that guy is he's not he's mm-hmm. not like the score That's necessarily, awesome. but you can tell he he's scoring more than usual and he just kind of has his, his job and he just does it very well. No, I mean you need that. It's just some tough offensive rebounds so far. Decent amount of points. Some of the socks from the Abington players are just too high for my for my liking. Like that kid. Yeah, that was got low ass socks right now. I Maybe he's just got like shin. Leg, you think they're like shin splints? Yeah, yeah, I think they're like yeah those aren't even like socks. That's like yeah, it's like sleeve. <sighs> Those are risky passes. Yeah. No, no. Kirby, do you see any carryover from like the weight? Oh, nice. Um, how many hit does he have today? He's getting up there, dude. He's got oh, up 15, yeah. I feel like. I think he At has least. four threes, four or five. Uh, yeah. All right. Good foul. Good foul. Yeah. Probably. Ted will miss these. He can't hit water from a dock. He's just been like everyone the offensive supports that. I feel like he's got to have like at least five at this point. Money. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Kirby, I was going to ask, do you think there's any carryover from, like, because I always say, like, Danny Sullivan looks very composed when he's, you know, breaking the press or making tough passes. Do you think as a quarterback that kind of stuff helps, or is it not really the same? I mean, I think it helps with just, like, staying composed, but, like, the actual physical, like, passing, I don't think it helps much. Right. Two hands. Nice. Out of way, Olsen. What? Wait, what? Oh, did they call, like, I think they called Sullivan, like, Sullivan. Like, Sullivan on, like, a push. Yeah. yeah. They're trying to make it even, but it's still going to be a blowout. Oh, he's getting taken out. Is he in foul trouble at all? Uh, maybe. Oh. Maybe he's just cooling off. Might be his third. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, nice. oh, that's his third. Yeah, they keep on running that play. You can't run that like three yeah, times. Really well. He's quick, too. Yeah, no, he reads that really well. Like the timing, good energy guy off the bench. Absolutely, like that's like such a key player to have on your team. Someone that yeah. comes up and like gives you a little boost. Nice set up, boy. Lunch, whole team's just playing really well tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Olsen. Lefty laps are hard. They are. I hate them. lefty laps. Oh. Not for me. Uh, slow it. I would have windmilled. <laughs> what? Oh. Olsen, can you hear him now? Is this um, like Melchionda 
Checking in. Says his name. I think he's like five, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I remember like he's got Mark Stumper. Remember Coach Pete said he was like the best shooter he's ever seen. <laughs> like High praise. Yeah. <laughs> no, from the games that I've seen, he's played well. Like sophomores seem like it's this really solid group. Nice. Oh, great, Hoss. Board. Love that from Spellman. Yeah. Not afraid to get his sneakers dirty. <laughs> the thing is, if you're Abington, at this point in the game, do you guys think they need to, like, play at pace because they're behind so much? Or is that – Kind of a mistake. Probably uh, next year at this point. Yeah, no. <laughs> Start the it's, it's the like fix. Lynch said, it's a hell of a place to play your last game at the DS gym for those eight seniors. I, I think you gotta. I think you gotta just run your offense and don't force anything. Yeah. It's still early. You just gotta chip away at it. Like it seems like a lot right now, but you yeah, try teams. to get it to like ten Some at the end of the quarter. Team. You know, like yeah. set little goals like that. Yeah. I mean, he looks like he was out for a walk with this dog though in the back court. This point guard, so <laughs> he's really taking. Call that? Yeah, screen. Good call. Abington coach getting on the court a little bit. That's kind of like there's certain coaches that are just known for that. Like Earl Grant at Boston College, he's he'll just get like on on the court bumping the ref like crazy stuff. Some coaches just they can't stay on the sidelines. Hold up. They play a really aggressive defense. Yeah. I was gonna say. Oh, okay. like, oh pass. Rinaldi. The wingspan's crazy. You can just throw that. There's gonna be a bunch yeah. of guys with just tons of points in this game. Yeah, no, they're just going a ton. It feels like it's mostly uh, him, Lynch, and uh, Dan Lemon. I like, not remember his name right now. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Does it seem like he pulls up much or not really? Yeah. Oh, I, was, I, I was very interested to hear. I was very interested to hear uh, Nick say that this this kid was the best uh, player that they'd faced all year. Yeah. I do think I do think Kofi's doing a good job on him. Yeah, no, he's on. Jeez. I feel like I haven't really seen him run like the inbound space that we've run. Yeah, I don't either. Oh. I think it looks like they go into oh, zone. Oh, it's Spellman. Oh, they my go into God. zone off of inbounds, it looks like, though. I, I never understood that. I mean, like, if you get screened, you can always switch, but like, I don't know. Are you, you're you're like, saying like um, the inbound plays aren't like where we, ours were? Yeah, yeah, but like I'm saying, like I don't know as a defense, like why do you switch this yeah. just off of the inbound, like when you like normally play man? Yeah. Jeez, I, I, oh I, my <laughs> god, Spellman. He's oh, trying. To, yeah. Oh my god. He is lighting it up. Abington's got to call timeout. Just get it to him. Oh. He's gonna pull. Oh no. no. Oh no. Brutal. That's a long lob, bro. I don't know. I think he was trying to just like lob it for a layup. Yeah. He had to he had to throw it up that guy. I hope Coach going. Brady knows that. I mean <laughs> Matt was he throwing an alley oop or was it a, like a pass to oh nice. there he goes. Right back to the Raiders. Feed him. Feed pull, pull, pull. Oh, I thought it was. Ryan's Great Spellman, board. Man. Foul? No. Nah, I think it's a block. It's aggressive, though. I can see it. 
you can see Gavin bugging out on the bench because that was <laughs> he thinks that was a foul and Grady was like, sit down, man. <laughs> it would be so cool to see uh, Coach Grady get a second state title. Yeah. Who did I, have? I had someone on the podcast. Oh, I think it was Rob Mosier. And I referred to him. I'm like, oh, Coach Grady. He's like, no, no, no. Put some respect in his name. State coach, state state champion, Rick Grady, or something like that. So for, from now on, I think that's how people should refer to him. <laughs> like, what they call? Time out. Okay. Yeah. Time out. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I got to add someone. I got to add someone else. Let's see. All right. By the way, I think I accidentally have displayed my email. So if anyone wants to email me. Feel free. I guess. I guess. Any fans of the show? Yeah. Or angry parents? <laughs> I don't think we've been too harsh on anybody. So li live from the fan zone. <laughs> Oh. Live from the fans that we got Jack Potter to <laughs> no volume yet from Jack. Yeah. No, no volume. Damn. <laughs> oh. There's Curtis. Okay. Gotta let him know I can't. Oh, the Raiders. Nice shot. So it's still connecting. It's got a whole production. We got a whole production going on. It's tough. Turn the camera on. Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> I can't hear you. That's all right. <laughs> what's, what's the what's the atmosphere like there, Jack? <laughs> This didn't go as well. Johnny. Do I want to like show the game? <laughs> no, we have the game. Better? Show them how big the zone is. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Kind of, they're kind of spoiling it for us because they're a little bit ahead. Me, Kirby, Alex, Juan, Danny. Is that Danny? It's on the Zoom. Say hi to the Zoom. Shoot <laughs> it! I can't see the game. Oh, here's the game. Ooh. Green Dorado! Ask Kirby about the Ashton game his junior year. I can't, I can't hear. How do you know? <laughs> Kirby, people want to know about the Ashton game your junior year. I don't remember it. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Young Shakespeare podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should I should I kick them now? I think yeah. they're doing like a viewing yeah. party. They wanted the fan zone fam. There we go. All right, I that was that was fun, but I I don't know how much I don't know what I expected from that segment. That was fun though. Yeah. Going a little aggressive now. I mean, it's, oof, nice. John looks so relaxed when he's dribbling. It's like, 
I don't even know. It's very like nonchalant almost. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Oh my that's crazy. god. Call a timeout. Oh, that's brutal. He's, Damn, he's stealing it. Dude, he's, he's hot, stealing as, a, hot it. as a pistol right now, dude. Look at these kids. <sighs> Kind of crazy, that guy dude. didn't want to be on the DS. No, nah, you, you did not want to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Famous. Yeah. Man. More of oh the buses. Yeah, I think Curb's right about uh, looking forward to next season if you're the Abington kids. Yeah. yeah. No, Maybe no, work on some different moves like now. Take this as like an extra practice time. 15 <sighs> looks like a little kid. I mean, I don't know what they expected coming against the Raiders. Hmm. Some new names and faces. You got Bauman in the in the lineup. Kirby, I'm assuming you saw the text from Johnny. No, I didn't. Oh, uh, he said he texted us. People want to know about the Ashton game, Kirby's junior year. He's really not giving up on that. Yeah. He's a scholar of DS football history. Oh, that's good. I'm good assuming year. I'm assuming Kirby like had a bad game or something. We we just lost a playoff game. Oh, is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good good, good rebuttal. Yeah, dude, oh. you can't guard him. You cannot guard him. Yeah, I think every they're time them, they're just they can't they're not getting them, they're not getting them. No, that matchup like as a coach, like how can you expect him to match up with them? Like it's just bad. Like like I mean, if you don't have the personnel to like go man on man, then you have to use on like. Zona, yeah. A little bit of a different look to start at the quarter. It's interesting to hear you guys say um, that this team compares to your one, to, to, to the one you were on in 2019. Just just for the sheer fact that they're going to need that kind of level of play um, going against St. Mary's next week. I, oh, yeah. I interviewed St. Mary's best player the other day. Um, I mean, they're the number one Oof. team in the division. That's such a good finish. Uh, I think they only have one loss. Um, so they're going to be a really tough team to beat. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, but I mean – Got to beat him all at some point. Oh. They call it foul? Yeah. Yeah. At least this ref did, I think. Yeah. I think Let's you just want to like, slow it down and run the clock a little. Yeah, I think you got to pull loop. In like a minute. Maybe you're resting, but I don't know. I just worry about like the size. Even like his ankle, too. I know he has ankle problems. I wouldn't want to. Although, I don't know. They're in the fourth already. Would that even be a risk? Yeah. I mean, like, just make it stuff up. With an ankle, like, it can just literally happen anytime. Like, it's not like it's, I feel like, a greater risk at later on in the game. Anytime. He could be sleeping and it could get hurt. Pretty much. <laughs> How pissed would you be if oh. you woke up with a hurt ankle? No, I mean, pretty much it's, like, 
at, at one point during our like playoff run actually or maybe it was before then but uh, i felt like half the team was going to see tanya before the game just to get like ankles wrapped and iced up and just whatever for real wow yeah no it's just like a basketball injury i mean if oof. he missed that but he has good touch on his floaters yeah all right that was a good finish yeah it was she need to run a little clock there like i like the aggressiveness but situationally what is it like 21 22 point lead now? yeah yeah 21 you guys got any March Madness picks? Any teams you like to run the gambit? I'd say I normally do better in my picks, but I don't pay any attention. So this year I kind of followed that. I just <laughs> I've been following that. a lot recently. I I like Kentucky. I think Duke's gonna win it all, but I don't like Duke, so I'll probably end up. Oh, I don't know. Gonzaga or Kentucky. Gonzaga's always nasty. I like Harvard. Tommy Harvard's Amaker. not. Harvard. Tommy Emmerker's an experienced coach, Kirby. Harvard literally cannot make it because the Ivy only does the top four teams yeah. in, the, in the Ivy League tournament to make March Madness, and they weren't even in the top four. <laughs> and you know what, Kirby? I know that because I briefly for one week wrote for a website called IvyLeagueHoops.com, and then – abruptly quit after writing my first article about a Brown basketball game. Um, so I'm actually somewhat of an expert on Ivy League basketball and TVL small basketball. I'll have you know. Oh, okay. I, I, I actually like Duke to win because I think it's like a Disney movie where the, the his last season wins and it's Duke. So I feel like that it's it just, it's Duke. Yeah. They're like Paulo Banchero is just so good. The only like yeah. knock on Kentucky is like, their best player is a center, which, like, I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but, like, when you think about a team winning it all, it's hard to have, like, a center that just gives a lot of rebounds and layups to, like, lead you to a national championship. It's usually, like, some, like, electrifying guard or something like that. What they just did to John O'Window was a war crime. <laughs> if I was there, I'd, I'd have to step in. There would be issues. Mm-hmm. There'd be, yeah, that's like that meme. If any, if things get worse in Russia and Ukraine, I might have to step in. (laughs) So what's the next round at? Oh, back up, back up. Oh, dude. Nice. Luke is going to have so many points too. Yeah, yeah. No, and Spellman of almost all of them. Oof, that's a good Number shot. Three, man. That's a foul. That's another one. It looks intentional. <laughs> it's assault. <laughs> that was always one of my favorites out here from the crowd. Do you think referees ever get bored during the game and just zone out a little bit? Like when you're yeah, in class? Probably. Probably less so during like a playoff game, but like it's just like a regular season game. It's like not that fun. Yeah. Yeah, like if you're like if it's a JV game on like a Tuesday and the team. Oh yeah, like a Russian game. It's like who cares? Jesus. Yeah, it's like Martha's Vineyard versus Millis JV. Like, you're probably yeah, not going to go. be on top of that one. I saw Martha's Vineyard made a tournament. That was wild. Yeah, well, um, the, ba- Ooh, the, bas- uh, the uh, basketball team and the baseball team actually have made the trip out to the Vineyard. 2-0 against them. 
Good to hear. Time out. Kirby, there's actually been a lot of talk on the podcast about how good the baseball team will be this year. Are you on that train? Do you think do you think this is going to be a special team with uh, Coach Steve? I mean, I only really know the seniors because, like, when I was a senior, we didn't have a season, so I never got to see any of the now juniors play. So I honestly don't really know, but I know – Dan Sullivan's really good. Um, Lynch. Is Derek Roman still there? He was a good pitcher. Yeah, Lynch is good. Uh, Curtis is good. Olsen, yeah, I never saw Olsen, but I think he's really good, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember, I think Derek Roman's a good pitcher. I think Lynch is a good pitcher from what I remember. Yeah, I mean, if you can get like, two like solid pitchers that's like massive yeah. that's really like that's um, really all you ever who, use. who was it your sophomore year is like web and uh um, yeah, yeah yeah that they just pitched like every other game in that tournament i remember yeah. literally i think skur like pitched like two innings but, like, other than yeah that. and even like skur and holden were their next options and it's not like they were bad like no nah, no nah, they just came in through gas yeah We underperformed in baseball so much your junior year. Well, like yeah, we no, should have no. been. We should have. We should have made the tournament. Like, yeah, definitely. That's the thing is like TBL for baseball is so much tougher than like pretty much any other sport. I think. I think it's definitely the best sport for the TBL. Yeah, baseball. Like, literally, there's. I don't think there's like an awful team really. Yeah, I think there's the. Too. I think the best. I think it's got to be one of the best like public school conferences in the state. Yeah. Oh, we got him on that one. <sighs> He's still that shooting. Cool. What do you, wh- why do you think that is? Why do you think the TVL is so good at baseball? I mean, you know the teams like Medfield. Um, well, good. Bellingham but, is like a baseball town. Yeah. Um, Medway is always really good. Yeah. Hopkinson. And then like the, the addition nice. of – That was tough. The addition of Norwood and Dedham to the TVL was yeah. huge. That was huge for the uh, like for the TVL because they were like the best two teams in, in the base state league. Mm-hmm. Like they weren't really like Dedham and Norwood. Like when you think of them before the TVL, it's like they weren't very good at football. Like they weren't very good at. I mean, the base state league is like Division One, but like they were like one of the worst teams in like basketball and football in that division or in that conference and then um but baseball they were always at the top so like adding them i remember like norwood and dedham were always really good when we played oh uh oh <laughs> uh oh yup <laughs> it had to happen at some point yeah he was oh waiting for that one. let's fucking go <sighs> Nick texted me earlier uh, after that lob. I guess he in the gym thinks it's a lob. He said if that if Luke had put down that lob, it would have been over. Um, the Abington kids would have just walked out. <laughs> Getting a little wave going. You think they're saying singing goodbye and that's kind of stuff? Yeah. Warm the buses. Probably a little bit of that. <laughs> well, the kid in the blue is really getting up. Oh, he's got some energy. <laughs> I turned off. I turned up the volume on the YouTube that I'm watching to hear it for a sec. <laughs> They're chanting MVP right now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no way. Putting in the seniors. Yeah. By Fresh Shirts. See, that's what I was hoping to see. Bangs in the game. Whittlesey. Bauman, I believe. Gavin Lynch. Wild. How many points does Spellman have? A lot. Like got to be. Mid, like 30? Mid, mid, mid 20s. Yeah. I don't know. A lot. The AD, um, Emily Sullivan, should tweet it out probably right after yeah. the game ends. She usually does. Oh! All right, other way. 
Called Foul? Or not? Oh, Foul. Go home. Hey, do you guys want to weigh in on President Biden's ban of uh, Russian <laughs> energy imports? It's a pretty complex subject, but if you want. <laughs> you're the European <laughs> correspondent. Why? You're in the yeah. danger zone. Uh, I think I'm chilling for now. You know, give it a couple months and we'll see, but. What's the score now? 80-57. Jeez. Yeah. 80 points. That's crazy. I know. No, they scored a lot. <laughs> That's great for a high school game. No, I saw like St. Mary scored like 90-something. I was like absurd. Is that who they play next? Yeah. Yeah. BC no, High should be a really good game. BC High has been murdering teams at every oh, stage reach. of the playoffs so far. Where is St. Mary's? Is that in Lake Lynn? It's in Lynn. Yeah. Whew, Jesus, dude. I like this kid's hustle. Number three. Dinner. Yo, my building, the lights are flickering. <laughs> Too it's much like weight. I saw on the TV, they're like severe weather, and there was supposed to be like a little bit of rain. Like every there's such babies down here. Oh fuck! If the zoom goes out, I just looked up St. Mary's. Their one loss was by three to a team in Florida. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of them before. So the the kid, their best player, David, is like this stud football guy too. Really? Just athlete? Did you get him on the podcast? Yeah, it was like two days ago or something. So hopefully the DS kids can go watch that before the game. Is he, is he a good kid? Yeah, he's like very nice. His dad's actually the coach too, funny enough. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. And I think it's yeah. like a bunch of just like multi-sport. It's kind of like the DS kids. It's like a bunch of multi-sport athletes. They have a bunch of football players on their basketball team. They, I'm looking them up right now. They they played Bishop Stang. <laughs> They won by 38. Jeez. I don't feel like Bishop Stang's supposed to be like that great this year, though. They beat Brockton by 13. Oh, Lord. Brockton, I mean, again, they killed like everyone. Team, but like in D1, right? Yeah, they, they just won their playoff game by 44. Whittlesley is the glue of this team, I have to say. <laughs> Shout out, guy. Will, shout out to Will Whittlesley, a friend of the podcast. You have it. That's a great performance from the boys, got to be honest. Player, who do you guys say player of the game is? Spellman. Yeah, I got to get Spellman. All around, just offensive impacts, uh, ball handling, defense, great game. Yeah, sure. I'd have to agree, Spellman. Oh, and they can sh shake hands again. <laughs> That's nice. Whoa. Yeah, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable watching. So, <sighs> 80 to 62. Mm. So, we were right that they would win. Yeah. Oh, look. Do you, can you see what I'm seeing? Because I kicked him out of the Zoom. It says, Do you want to report? Jack's iPhone. <laughs> no, I can't. Imagine if I report him. Yeah, just be like racist abuse. No, I'm gonna get him on <laughs> trademark infringement. That'll really oh, show. Okay. Yeah. We're just really quick. Oh, it's over. I just want to see. I think BC's the BCI is the number one team. Yeah. Uh, Sixty-one. Murder. Murder. All right. Let's just uh. Wrap this up. Boys, tell me your, your thoughts on the game. What do you think uh, gave DS the win and the upper hand today? Great shooting. Yeah. A couple, like, energy steals, you know, and a couple big threes. Crowd definitely got into it. And just moments. Yeah. After that first quarter, it was just no question about who's going to win that game. Yeah, dominated the middle part of the game. Great offensive performance throughout, you know. People stepped up at different points. You love to see that. Just kind of a complete team effort. 
And, uh, you know, honestly, except for that last little run there in the fourth quarter, defense is pretty great too. So mm-hmm. all around, not much to complain about. Yeah, and uh, final question for you guys is two guys that won the state championship back in 2019. I usually get feedback from these guys that they watch back the stream, so maybe they're listening to this. What would your advice be to them about how does it how does it get done? You know, how do you how do you win a state title? Um, what what do they need to do going forward to execute and win a championship like you guys did? I mean, for every team, it's going to be different, but in general, just you got to take it one game at a time. Uh, you know, enjoy the ride, honestly. Like, that's the best part of it, looking back on it. Super, like, treasured memories of just, like, the time we spent on the buses, like, hour rides out into, like, Central Mass, um, preparing for a game. Uh, all of it's just so much fun. So, like, really take it all in and enjoy the ride. Yeah, well said. I agree. All right, boys. Thanks so much for coming on the Young Shakespeare podcast. Thanks to everyone for listening, liking, watching, and subscribing. And uh, for all the viewers out there, uh, please tune into the next episode of the podcast.